Okay, Ruler, settle down. Ruler School is brought to you by Odyssey Games, where you can go to get pre-orders of all the upcoming Force of Will sets, as well as releases of previous sets after they come out. CCGprime.com, with over 100,000 Force of Will singles, as well as out-of-print boxes from the past, and TCG accessories, as well as FowlLibrary.com, a wonderful resource for deck lists, article discussions, and more. Check them out at FowlLibrary.com, as well as these amazing patrons. Special thanks to guest lecturer patrons Shu Kong Fu, Vite Ramen, and Maxime Van He. Thank you for your support. Class is in session. Hey there, Rulers Demo73 here, bringing you our Wanderer deck profile for the Mikage Stone Hate list. This was a list that we saw uh, kind of floating around Untap a little bit. We played against it a couple times. We said, hey, that's a pretty cool idea. Let's try it out ourselves. So this is our version of it. Uh, it's designed to have some utility in the current meta. Uh, we, we kind of watered down the combo a little bit so that we had a little bit more protection and a few more uh, opportunities or avenues. Um, but obviously we're using Mikage for that banish effect. That is the whole purpose of this deck. We want to abuse that front side banish effect as much as possible in ways that he wasn't initially uh, designed to do with his support suite. And a big part of that is Layla, Maiden of the Swamp. Uh, when she's put into the graveyard from the field, you search your magic stone deck for a darkness magic stone and put it into the field. So we're playing 14 stones, including three darkness magic stones. Uh, this is to help us ramp up to set up things like uh, being able to play Athenia or a uh, Dark Witch uh, to get to seal 5 very quickly and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. It's also the first real deck we're playing that's going to be abusing this idea of Origin of the Seven Lands. Origin is a card that just suddenly got a lot popular with more popular with all the cards from uh, Game of Gods Revolution, uh, specifically Dry Wing. So this is great for us because like you saw, uh, when we reveal it produces a green and then Dry Wing lets us recover the stone. So it essentially lets us turn a basic magic stone, uh, basic character's magic stone into green and black just by itself, which lets us play things like part of true power. Um, and so you can kind of do it a lot of different ways. You can use it to reanimate Garion. You can use it to reanimate Athenia and start going after your opponent's stones. You can use it to reanimate um, Fallen Angel of Black Tears that you've discarded to do board wipes. Like we're, we're really abusing the graveyard a lot with this deck and also just having so much will um, that we can kind of play through what we need. Um, so obviously we're playing four Layla, Maiden of the Swamp, three Dark Alice Rabbit Princess because it protects our graveyard, helps us get stuff to reanimate back to the graveyard, as well as it's a sack outlet to be able to do things like sacrifice Athenia, sacrifice Layla as needed. Three Necronomicon Barrier because stopping Enter Effect is great right now. Uh, Resonator Enter Effects are kind of quickly um, reapproaching in terms of how consistent or, or how good they are. Uh, and so having that protection to be able to turn them off for a turn is really nice. Two copies of Seven Deadly Sins. It's a little harder to cast in this deck, which is why we're only playing two, but the instant speed potential to reanimate something like Garion or uh, Fallen Angel of Black Tears is really, really nice. For Witch of the Fallen Kingdom, stopping searches is huge right now, as well as, again, we're really wanting to abuse that uh, CL5 concept. Three copies of Mikage Rea to help get our reanimate targets to the graveyard. Three Lorites. Um, we're a black green deck, so we might as well play the protection from Lorite. Uh, three Fallen Angel of Black Tears for some spot removal. Three Part of True Power, uh, so that we can actually reanimate. Three Keep the Faith, because it's nice to be able to reanimate things like Mikage Rea, Witch of the Fallen Kingdom, Dark Alice Rabbit Princess, or Layla, which is excellent uh, to kind of keep the value going. Four copies of Athenia, we want to see her often so that we can kill your opponent's stones as fast as possible. On enter, she forces your opponent to banish a resonator, and if they can't, they have to sack a stone. And then when she's put to the graveyard from the fields, you have to they have to banish a non-J ruler entity. So if they have nothing left, that's another stone. So you can really go after your opponent's stones a lot quickly. Two copies of Garion for some cancel, as well as being able to, you know, reanimate it if you're going up against a one-drop deck to say like, hey, no one-drops, help oh, give us some protection there. And then three copies of Origins. You don't want to see it too often, um, but you do want to see it consistently. And it's also really nice as a, just if we have extra copies, we could pitch it to Dark Atlas, Rabbit Princess. Stone base-wise, four Heaven's Rift. Four Moonshade, three Darkness Magic Stone, and three Black Silence. And then the sideboard is three copies of a Witch with a Pointy Hat, two each of Mechanized Children of Kronos and Mechanized Children of Gaia. There is a world where you could still play Pumpkin Witch to take one of these slots if you want to. Most of the time, though, we're just going to be re revealing Drywing to abuse the um, 
will recovery there to be able to make the reanimate plays happen. And then I'm personally playing, Adam, this is the wrong Adam Brawley. I'm personally playing just the five color Adam Brawley just because sometimes the will filter is necessary. Um, you could also, you know, any five color card works. Um, to be able to fill that slot i just like using the promo so that is the deck list i uh, hope you guys like it um it was a lot of fun to play and uh, it's fun to be adventuring around in the wanderer format but let us know uh, your ideas for this or what other wanderer decks you want us to see um, moving forward and until next time this is dmo 73 saying class dismissed